Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of The Awesome Cook. I'm Jake Sakura, and on this week's episode I am going to continue on the celebration of the fall season. Uh, this recipe will be something that's perfect for the fall season and it's going to serve 10 people at one smart point. This is a curry pumpkin soup that we're going to cook in a slow cooker and it's going to be awesome of course so let's get started. So here are the ingredients that we'll need for the curry pumpkin soup. First of all, you're going to need two cans, 15 ounce cans of 100% pumpkin. Make sure that you read the label and it's not pumpkin pie filling because you will have a totally different taste to your pumpkin curry pumpkin soup. So two 15 ounce cans of that, one can of light coconut milk, you're going to need two cups of vegetable or chicken broth will work. Don't get beef broth, it's not going to turn out correctly. One whole onion, that this has been diced up. About a cup, or um, this may be a little more than a cup of carrots diced up. And for the seasonings, cinnamon, coarse curry powder, ginger, nutmeg, and then salt and pepper for, for taste. So let's get started. This is going to be a two-step process because we're doing it in a slow cooker. So I'll show you how that process works. Okay, so I'm back. <clears throat> so I put, this is my slow cooker here. You can use a bigger slow cooker if you wish to. Um, my bigger one's in use right now, so I am using this smaller one. Um, what we're going to put in, the ingredients are going to be the vegetables. So we got the onions here, the diced carrots, and two cans of pumpkin. reason why if you're wondering about carrots it helps uh, sweeten and balance the pumpkin that we're adding in the savory ingredients like the onions the spices it kind of balances those ingredients out now yeah if you're thinking well I don't like onions you certainly can substitute onions for um, potatoes you can put in there would be a good option. A uh, substitution for carrots, if you're not a big carrot fan, would be um, uh, apple. And then that, something like a honey crisp or something like that would be great for this recipe. Gives a sweetness, kind of gives that fall um, flavors in there as well. And then we're going to add the two cups of chicken stock. And this was fat-free chicken stock as well. So that's it for now. Grab the lid. And we're going to put this on low you, for four to six hours. We're going to let these ingredients meld and the vegetables soften off. And I'll come back after that time. A little over four hours. So I'm gonna take this lid off and add the rest of our ingredients and blend everything together. So here's the can of coconut, light coconut milk. And then make sure you shake it up before you open it. I'm gonna pour that in there. And if you don't like coconut milk, you can always add regular milk, almond milk. And the more you liquid you add, the consistency will be thinner. So depending on how thick 
you want or thin. So if you want it thinner than this, go ahead and add more liquid to it with whatever liquid you like. So I'm doing salt and pepper to taste. Teaspoon of cinnamon. tablespoon of curry. And again, if you don't like curry, of course this is the point of the recipe, but you can do everything, you know, you can edit it and still have a pumpkin soup that you're gonna like. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do, uh, use a, I'm using an immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use it and uh, mix it up in a blender. However, my advice is you have to keep it cool. First, let this cool down some and then pour it in the blender and let let cover it lightly and let some steam out. <clears throat> so if you're a novice, I suggest you invest in a uh, immersion blender. They're not expensive and they're very useful when it comes to soups. So, so one thing I forgot to tell you is that um, before we mix this up, uh, to remove the liner, I do it because if you, depending on how long you're going to be out, um, I just prevent it from burning on the sides or sticking on the sides. So, okay, we're going to blend these together. <laughs> all blended together you can blend this how to your consistency I kind of like mine a little bit hearty um, my carrots are not fully blended in smooth you can do it till smooth um, you may want to put it in a little bit longer if you want a little smoother consistency so I'm going to let this simmer in here on low for another 30 minutes to let these blend and we'll come back to serve Okay, so I'm back. It's been about a half an hour. And just open this up. And I'm just going to show you the consistency. And it smells amazing. So I'm going to serve this up and come right back. Okay, so I'm going to try some out. I have my stuff served up. The red stuff I put a little dash of kind cay uh cayenne pepper you can you don't have to do that if you don't like to but i like a little extra spice i'm trying this soup out that's amazing i'm gonna take another bite that's really good you can taste the hint of the coconut milk, that curry, that very fall flavors in my mouth. 
the, the um, cayenne pepper gives a little kick if you want that in there um, do that but I hope you enjoy this recipe this is a sure hit for a fall uh, dinner or lunch and the amazing thing is only one point per serving this serves about 10 servings and I hope you enjoy it leave comments subscribe thank you for all the comments that I've been receiving you can follow me on Weight Watchers Connect at J-A-S-I-K-O-R-A 1981. That's J-A-S-I-K-O-R-A 1981. Until next Monday, stay awesome.